This is by far the hardest challenge I've ever had to do in Cold War Zombies. And it's a challenge that no man named Joe in this room has ever completed before today. And that's getting round 100 with zero Aether Crystal upgrades. And just for the sake of transparency, here are all my skills. I have zero weapons upgraded. None of my field upgrades are upgraded. None of my perks are upgraded. And none of my ammo mods are upgraded. And my brain is also not upgraded because it's like my fifth time attempting this. I think I've done it twice for videos. But yesterday, I attempted it twice again. One time on Mauer and one time on D-Machina. I figured that I've attempted it on D-Machine and haven't been able to do it. So I should switch it up and try on Mauer and actually do like the first strategy that got me my first ever round 100, which was training around the tank uh, by the Wonder Fizz and then like going up the rope and pop and ring of fire and all that stuff. That didn't work. I died on like round 36. I'm like, you know what? I actually made it to health cap on D-Machina. Why don't I try it again? Because if I can win around on like past health cap, I'll be able to win around all the way up to 100. At least I should be able to. But I tried that yesterday and I got to round 69 and died. I'm not even kidding. And this is all just some dumb challenge I put on myself that I have to complete before I can upgrade anything with my Aether Crystals. And I just want to be able to say that I did it. I've gotten close. I've gotten real close. I just need to play it a bit smarter. I, I even started looking up like ways to get to round 100 with no Aether Crystal upgrades and my own videos were popping up. So I don't think there's anything out there or any sort of tutorial telling me how to do this. So I just got to figure it out because no one's dumb enough not to upgrade to something and then try to spend three to four hours trying to get to round 100, except for me. I'll be the zombie community's dumbass and try to get this thing done. But I'm going to try to get set up as fast as possible and try to get our DIE shockwave real early here. That way we can start grinding out rounds. And I really wanted to stream this, but I'm scared that I'm going to actually get close to it. And then some loser is just going to boot me offline. Because with how many times this has taken me, I would love to be able to stream it and, you know, do something to keep me occupied while I'm grinding through these rounds. But no, losers out there got to boot people offline to feel something. All right, let's go ahead and start getting everything set up. All right, we got power on. Pack-a-punch is restored. We'll do a quick little coffin dance. Maybe they'll be nice and actually give me the DIE shockwave and save me some time. Or the ray gun. Either one of those is acceptable. And then we'll be on our merry way. So what do you got for me, coffin? Uh, QBZ. Not necessarily what I'm looking for. And I gotta start building the Aether Scope. That way I can get the correct portal to spawn so I can get our electrical upgrade for our Shockwave. Actually, I don't think that spawns in until after we get the Shockwave, so I might have gone to that portal for nothing, but y'all, y'all get the idea. Let's try to take out our Megaton buddy, wherever he may be. I might have popped this Ring of Fire a little too early. No, I didn't. Perfect timing, actually. There we go. I'll be taking that key card. Let's try to hurry up and grab our DIE remote. Zombie, stay back. I'm warning you. All right, we got it. All right, let's go ahead and get our DIE. Turn that on. Toss that decoy down so they all stay over there. And discharge. Give me that. And goodbye, zombies. Well, most of you. Now I think we can start building the Aether Scope. So I'll be taking that. We're heading on up. I'll grab this other part. And we just need one more. And you know what? Since we're right here, Box, would you kindly give me the ray gun, please? That would help out a lot. Okay. Not quite the ray gun. I'll ask you one more time, but this time, you better fucking give it to me. I'll fuck you up, Box. The chest box. And there's our last Aether Scope part. I guess we'll put this thing together. Give me that. And now we got to do the whole Dr. Vogel quest thing. Give me your stupid diary. Bro, thank you, Greg Hefley. We just need to give him his little diary three times. So there's two and there's three. I'm kind of speed running this. Now we just got to log into Dr. Vogel's bank account. Idiot. And now we can finally do the quest for our Electra Bolt. We just need to grab these three little magic crystals. That's one. That's two. And that's three. Give me my upgrade, please. Thank you. And now we just gotta try to grind through rounds so we have enough points to pack a punch our DIE all the way up, our M16 all the way up, and get all of our perks. In the meantime, we can sit in penthouse, but once it reaches round 30, I am leaving. I, I, I know my cutoff. I know it's not safe for me up here past round 30. I will die. Also, something crazy I figured out. Power-ups block the DIE shot. I don't know why they do that, but they do. And honestly, I think we might be fine to turn on the rampage inducer. 
We gotta get through these rounds a little bit faster. Hopefully I don't regret turning this on. All I can think about is how easy this challenge would be if I just had fully upgraded Ring of Fire, because shooting this thing nonstop, like me getting a max ammo in the middle of that, I can just completely decimate rounds. Without it, the little sucky suck ain't strong enough. But I, I feel like if I can actually make it all the way to round 100 with no upgrades, I get to choose an upgrade and I'm going to be choosing Ring of Fire immediately. Because I have my M16 here, which is like a pretty decent weapon. We use that to get to our social distancing Dark Ops challenge. But after we did that, we tried to get a Dark Aether and it took so long afterwards. Just without Ring of Fire, grinding camos takes so much longer. It's not even like more difficult. It's just you sh can shoot for a little bit and then you got to go train it just adds on unnecessary time and now we have enough to get this pack three so i'm doing that and i'll get some more perks but our time in penthouse is coming to an end soon because it gets real up here once we hit round 30. they don't mess around actually you know what this is gonna be stupid but i think i will push my limits i'll try to survive as long as i can in penthouse but the second i have to use this cruise missile that i picked up that's when we leave i ain't risking it past then because it's so crazy how easy it is on round 29 and then you're gonna see a fucking mood switch the second we hit 30. so right now we're doing fine we got our tesla storm going we're grabbing some ammo we're gonna start shooting now the zombies kind of go down like easy but just whenever we run out of ammo is the tough part so we're gonna throw a decoy give him the sucky suck while it's going on and we're back to shooting and we might die here Gonna have to use a cruise missile. We probably could have survived that, to be honest. Holy lag. Holy fuck. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. And I did say the second I had to use my cruise missile, I'm not going back up there, but maybe we just try a little bit more. I'm gonna push the envelope a little bit for myself. Because if I can get this down, we'll beat around 100 in no time. If I can't, then it's just training around the spawn room for the next four hours. Like the amount of times I've attempted this and all the aether crystals I've accumulated, I can probably upgrade everything in the game. I just can't do it. Okay, it's getting kind of scary up here. All right, we got an insta kill and we have a little Tesla storm to go. So we're basically invincible right now. We're actually doing pretty decent up here. Knocking on wood right now. I'm surprising myself a little bit. No, no. Oh. Sounded like I just busted. Penthouse kicks ass when you survive in it. This shit is fun. Well, I've surprised myself today. We made it all the way to round 40 in Penthouse. This is fucking groundbreaking. I didn't think I've ever gotten this high, like, with full upgrades. I think I'm just, like, too dumb for my own good. Oh, shit. Speaking of dumb. I, I was honestly spamming my cruise missile right there, and I'm kind of glad it didn't go off. That would have been a waste. Oh, this won't be. We'll just use it. Damn, insane lag using a cruise missile. I'm gonna be pissed if that crashes my game. But we had to use like all of our equipment this round. I used like three decoys and a cruise missile. Tried to use it twice. It's getting scary up here. Like we're definitely pushing our luck. Oh, and now I'm stuck. Yeah, I'm gonna go down. Fuck me, dude. It's always the plague hounds. Cause nothing can ever touch me in Tesla storm, but the plague hounds. And they always do. They always give me, but good thing we're at like the very end of the round. So our first down coming at round 40, that's not bad. And I'm going to grab chopper gunners from here on out as long as I have the blue scrap for it, because I don't like how everything is like unloading in and reloading in when I use a, a cruise missile. That's kind of scary. So I would hate to get like super far just for my game to crash. I would freak out. But you know what? I made it way further than I thought I would in penthouse. And it's time that we wrap it up in here. And we move on to just training in spawn room. It was a good run. I ain't risking it anymore. So my strat from here on out is going to be just to run around in circles right here. When I need ammo and I have a Tesla storm, I'm just going to pop it, backpedal, and do the sucky suck. If I don't got it, I'll just try to backpedal and sucky suck this way. But it's significantly more difficult. So let me try to build up a Tesla storm. Actually, you know what? Fuck these zombies. On the decoy you go. I'll just get all my ammo this way. Now he's got a... Oh, shit. I was about to say, we just got to hope that our backwards training is good enough to where we don't run into anything. Apparently, it's not. And we need to practice a little more. But we made it out alive. And that's all that matters. And now the tricky part about this is going for armor. Because sometimes I can get through there without even like getting hit. Maybe hit once. Other times, it, all the zombies spawn back in that family room area. And then I'm screwed. But right now, it seems like I'm fine. Just don't spawn up here. Thank you. 
What the fuck? I hate playcounts so much. They just come out of nowhere. They don't train like the rest of the zombies. Just annoying little bastards. No fucking way. I'm an idiot. Actually, there is a way that I'm an idiot, but I should not have gone down right there. But I think we'll be all right. Hopefully. Now, this one goes out to all my dyslexic people out there. If you look at my points, they're all in numerical order. You're welcome. Okay, I got a chopper gunner. Ooh. That was so close. That was like frame perfect. We gotta take out these bombers real quick. I think they're both dead, actually. We're chilling. This might actually end the round here. Actually, I don't think so. A lot of zombies are still spawning. Oh, wait, maybe not. We made it to health cap. Let's go. But we do not have armor, but there's a carpenter. Beautiful. That worked out nicely. I do need to buy another chopper gunner back, though. That literally saved my life. So I'm gonna do that real quick. You guys need a nade. I'll be grabbing that, and we're good. Okay, use it! Woo! Good thing we grabbed that. And we are officially done with health cap. Maybe not officially. Where's his last zombie? There he is. So now, theoretically, if we can survive that round, we can survive any round past it, because the zombies aren't getting any more health than that. I don't know if they get any faster, if they do any more damage, though, but I'm pretty sure after round 55, the zombie health and stats don't change. I'm becoming like an expert at sniping the plague hounds out of the pack. I'm not letting one of those motherfuckers knock me. Not if I can help it. See? Perfect. We can survive without the rampage inducer. Now's the time where I blast my AC and watch Breaking Bad on my phone. That's the best way to get through these rounds. And in case you're curious, I'm on season three, episode four of Breaking Bad. So we'll see where we're at by the time we get this done. Fuck me, dude. No way. No way. What? What do you mean not available? I hit it before I went down. Fuck you. We've made it to round 69. The sex round. That's where I died in my last run of this. Let's see if we can get past it. <sighs> we beat it. We're on round 70 now. I'm getting to the point where I'm just using my chopper gunner. Well, I'm using it to save myself, but I'm using it specifically for the megatons now because it's so much faster. But the problem with that is that two spawn in per round now. Which sucks, but fuck them. I'm gonna use it anyways. That was so fucking close. Oh my god. Okay, that was not close at all. That was just me being a fucking idiot. Self revives are 600 fucking scrap now. I've gone down eight times. And this is the reason right here why I use the chopper gunner. Because this doesn't really do shit to him. Ooh, barely got him to split in time. Holy fuck. Because that was even with insta-kill, it took a little bit. It's just hard to get that focus blast on him for so long with zombies chasing after you. And for his splits, I'm just going to go ahead and use the chopper gunner. Oh, we beat the round. But he's standing right there. I don't think he knows that we're here. Oh, this slimy bastard has all of his health. He ran right into Noct right when I pulled out that chopper gunner. We are only nine rounds away. Holy shit, we're actually doing it. Knock on wood, though. I mean, we're not doing it. Oh my god, I want to die in this game. Or something like that. I don't know. Don't come for me, cod gods. We don't need that. How much blue scrap do I have? 2,000? I might be able to just chop our gunner the next two rounds. If it starts getting bleak, that's what I might do. Fuck it, I'm going to do it right now. Not because I trained myself on a corner. Definitely not. Why would I ever do something like that? Fuck. I gotta use the chopper gunner immediately. Holy fuck. I almost just died right there. Oh, we beat the round. It's round 99. Let's go. We're in our last round. Actually, I don't know how good that is because I don't have any armor. And I don't have any perks. We can get through just fine without perks. Armor, on the other hand, is a scary thing to not have. Literally taking two hits will kill me. So I might just have to chopper gunner this whole round. Am I proud of it? Honestly, fuck yeah. I've gotten through all this trouble. I deserve a few chopper gunners. Let's throw down this decoy. Let's buy a few more. Eat some nades, zombies. Dumbasses. Gonna have to use it. 
We are really cutting it close here on the last round. This is ridiculous. Are these the last zombies? I think we did it. I guess I'll uh, buy my perks back before I kill these guys. So let's throw on a decoy. Enjoy that, fellas. I'll be buying my perks back. And before I end the round, I'm going to pause it right here. I made it to season three, episode nine of Breaking Bad. So from like episode of, or from round 50, I watched like six episodes of Breaking Bad, something like that. All I know is I've been recording for like five and a half hours. And it all comes down to this right here. Round 100. Another round. We got our Dark Ops challenge, baby. Let's go, dude. We finally did it. And I can finally use my Aether Crystals. Actually, while we're at it, I'm just going to keep using the Chopper Gunner. Let's try to exfil. I was thinking maybe I'd go and do like a final stand up in Penthouse. But I'm not going to let Penthouse get the last laugh. I'm going to get out of here alive. We will exfil at round 100. Woo! That kind of fucking scared me. Like how pounced right at me the second I got out of the chopper gunner. Oh, but I, I feel so accomplished right now. Round 100 with zero Aether Crystal upgrades was hard as shit to do. And I'm glad I can say that I did it. And I will say what made a big difference this time around compared to my other runs is using decoys instead of stuns. It's like blunts over joints. It's insane how much decoys help out compared to stuns. Yeah, stuns can stun like Megatons and Plague Hounds. But if, as long as those aren't on the board, like those aren't running around out here, you throw on a decoy, you're basically safe to go do whatever. Like that saved me from getting like all my self revives, all my chopper gunners, all of my armor. Like it just makes going for risky things way less risky. So shout out to decoys, man. You know what? Fuck them. Another chopper gunner coming right up. Oh, and a nuke. Don't mind if I do. Is that the end of the round? Not quite. One more time with the chopper gunner. I will use all my blue scrap. There we go. Round 101. We can finally exfil. So let's start that up. I'm going to come over here. Give me cashmere's and give me a chopper gunner. What's going on, Megaton? I'll be with you shortly. Let's Tesla storm our way out of here. Go on a quick Gersh. Eat that shit up. You like that, Megaton? You like when I, when I give you that suck? There's another one. Enjoy. Oh, what was that? You said you wanted a chopper gunner? Sure. I mean, if you're asking for it, I'm happy to oblige. No Mary J. Okay, but this motherfucker's not even peeking. Okay, we got 30 seconds to kill this Megaton. We actually might not exfil. I should have uh, made sure the Megaton was visible when I entered my chopper gunner. I was going to take all this time to split. I'm working on it, Raptor 1. I'm working on it. Oh, yeah. We're done. We're toast. Sorry, Raptor 1. You might just have to leave us. I'll at least take out one of you. Never mind. Well, hey. We made it to round 100. Does the x really matter? Not really. We might get a few extra crystals from it, but we had 1,261,000 score. 13,000 kills. 633 crits, no revives, and 12 downs. Honestly, thought it was going to be way more than that. But we survived all 100 rounds. Let's fucking go. Now, see all our rewards here? We leveled up so much, it won't even show us. 83 raw crystals, 31 refined, 15 flawless, and our another round calling card. I'm throwing that on immediately. That's just a thing of beauty right there. And as for our skill upgrades, you bet your sweet bippy. I am upgrading Ring of Fire right now. Look at that. Look how many crystals we have. Now it is fully upgraded. Beautiful. Well, that was a journey. We finally made it all the way to round 100 with zero upgrades. I cannot wait to never do this again. I don't want to touch that challenge again in my life. That was like six and a half hours of running in a circle there on D Machina's spawn room. Never again. Now we can actually start the grind. It's actually time to play the game. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support. And I will see you next time. Later.